Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about genomic variation in NGS data. So let's first talk about variant calling. Variant calling refers to the task of identifying possible variations in genomic or transcriptomic sequences with respect to a chosen reference sequence. In germline variant calling, the reference sequences is the standard for the species of interest. For somatic variant calling, the reference is the genome of a chosen controlled somatic cell sample. In this tutorial, we will analyze next generation sequencing data collected from two individuals with primary ductal carcinoma and perform a somatic variant calling analysis. From each individual, cell lines were generated from cancerous that were taken from the tumor and non-cancerous taken from the blood cell samples. Exome sequencing was then performed on the cell lines for the purpose of identifying variants associated with the cancer. Exome sequencing is a method for selectively sequencing only the coding regions of a genome. As mentioned in the previous section, the formation of a tumor is associated with the disruption of various genes. And these are a class of genes known as tumor suppressor genes which prevent cancer development by regulating the cell cycle stages of growth and division. We will create a pipeline using the TeamBioInfo platform to process paired and read data from each pair of matched tumor normal cell lines and identify variants between cancerous and non-cancerous cell genomes. Before you can start the practical tutorial, make sure you have the access for the TBioInfo platform which is separate from the OmicsLogic Learn Portal access. So for the analysis, we will use four cell lines, two pairs of cancerous and normal samples. Characteristics and culture methods for each cell lines are available at the American Type Culture Collection website. You can find the two cell line pairs in the description of this tutorial. The HCC codes are identifiers for the cell lines in the ATCC database and the SRR codes are identifiers for the sequence data from the respective cell lines. Sequencing was done using an Illumina genome analyzer. The pair and read data exist in the SRA database under these file names. So now let's begin with the tutorial. We will run a separate pipeline for each cell line pair. Before uploading our exome sequence data to the platform, we must specify several parameters. The type of reference genome we are using for alignment of the reads is a model organism, that is Homo sapiens, with annotation. A GTF file is a typical genomic annotation file format. This reference genome type is specified by our model genome GTF. Our read data is pair end and in fast queue format. As mentioned, several human reference genomes exist and we will use a recent one that is Homo sapiens GRCH38. There is an option to upload files directly from your computer or to pass a download link to the server for uploading. As mentioned previously, the necessary data files have been stored at the server. The file paths are specified using the SVL link option. The following file paths should be pasted in two file link fields. The description of the same you can find here on the screen and also in the description. We divide the cancerous and normal samples into two groups. After providing the input file paths, select define groups, check. In the new window, you will see an empty box labeled group A. Select the positive next to the label to create a second group, group B. You may now drag and drop the samples into the desired groups. For this variant calling pipeline, be sure to place cancerous samples into group A and non-cancerous samples into group B. We are now ready to create our pipeline. Notice that the TBioInfo pipeline interface is organized into various sections of vertically stacked buttons. The buttons indicate various algorithms or processes and each stack contains processes with a similar function. After selecting start, the processes to run in sequence may be selected left to right. 
with each button opening a window providing an explanation of the process and the option to adjust any available parameters. Various processes apply to the various types of input data and during the pipeline creation, the highlighted buttons indicate processes which are compatible with the output of the previously selected process. As discussed in the overview, the primary subroutines of genomic variant analysis are mapping reads to a reference genome and variant calling. Note the two vertical pipeline sections for mapping and variant calling. For this example, we will be using mapping algorithm Bauti2 and variant calling algorithm Sterilka. You can learn more about the algorithms in the lesson on the Omics Logic Learn portal. Now, to view the output files after completion, select the downward arrow icon in the entry for the desired pipeline. Click on the files with the extension .vcf to download them. The detected SNP variants will be investigated in the next section. In the table below is a random sample of single nucleotide variants detected in the tumor samples of the basal breast cancer patients using the pipeline detailed above. These are contained in the resulting VCF file labeled with .snv.sterilka.vcf. The CROM and POS fields provide the chromosome name and position in the sequence of the variant respectively. The REF field provides the nucleotide existing in the reference genome at the corresponding position and the ALT provides the variant nucleotide. COAL provides a FRET quality score associated with each SNV. Based on the frequency of the variant in the tumor read versus the normal reads. Now you can run the second pipeline performing the same steps with the samples that could be seen here on the screen and also I'll provide the same in the description. The results that are obtained by running the variant calling analysis pipeline, you can view the results in the integrated genomics viewer. To learn how the analysis is carried out in the IGV, you can refer to lesson number 5 in the genomics course on OmicsLogic Learn portal. In this lesson, you will learn to create a pipeline for variant calling using the tbioinfo platform, the same that we discussed today, and to process paired and read data from each pair of matched tumor normal cell lines and identify variants between cancerous and non-cancerous cell genomes.